spot that that's the end of it. Now, you can see coming into the western side of the whole of the UK, yet more lime green splodges, which is rain. And this time it's fairly blustery showers. And the sunshine's not been much cheer either. It has come out in England. It's been fairly difficult to see in Scotland, some parts of Wales, or indeed Northern Ireland, where in the last few hours the rain may well have eased a little bit and the cloud may have broken a little bit. But if you're in Belfast, it's four degrees and you probably can't see much blue sky. Nor is it likely to improve very much this afternoon. And that's true of a good part of Scotland. However, it is a picture that's turning into sunshine and big showers, so there's a chance of seeing a, a few glimpses. The heaviest showers this afternoon and the gustiest ones like to be in the southwest of England. Thunder is possible, it's been heard in Cumbria. Hail and even sleet or snow is likely. Sleet has fallen on the moors in the southwest and snow is likely, I think, on the hills of Scotland. It's turned into a cold day. Temperatures have been generally dropping as the day went on, despite any sunshine you may have seen. And with the wind now less than it was and dropping tonight, temperatures will also fall away. A widespread frost is likely. Now, for most, that's not a problem. We expect that in November. But where, of course, you've got fairly wet roads or there are showers overnight, and I'm thinking of Northern Ireland, for example, and then it drops down to zero, there's a chance of ice for tomorrow morning. And a difficult one to avoid, so that's something to bear in mind. Tomorrow morning, generally speaking, will be a much drier picture, at least in England and Wales. Some morning fog, yes, that might linger for one or two. Vale of York's a prime possibility, but otherwise much drier. But that's not entirely true, of course. There's likely to be fairly heavy rain through Scotland, briefly through Northern Ireland, and also in Wales and the southwest of England, and even the southeast corner, where today was soaking wet. Chances are there'll be showers tomorrow. Not everywhere will wet be wet, but uh, with fairly deep showers I think we'll also see hail and again snow on the tops of the hills and it will be an equally cold day. And we've not seen the last of the rain but we're not really going to be frustrated very much by frost and fog in the next two or three days. For example, Friday likes, is likely to start cold, briefly foggy and then turn wet from the west and throughout the weekend. If you don't see rain you'll be very lucky or very pleased.